10 on your side's coverage of Hurricane Irene's aftermath continues. Portsmouth leaders spent $2 million on a seawall to protect the city from floodwaters. But those leaders will tell you it wasn't designed to withstand a hurricane. Now nearby property owners want to know why. 10 on your side's Ava Hurdle went looking for the answer and she joins us now live near that wall. Ava? Stephanie and Nicole, they're dealing tonight with flooding left behind, the damage left there, and this is the seawall right here, the one that we're talking about, the brand new seawall that they hope would keep that from happening. Pumps are still going on low-lying Dinwiddie Street to remove remaining storm water. Uh, obviously the wall needed to be built higher. Timmy Dodson will have to get his own pump to get standing water out of his apartment building basement. It sits between 40 to 50 yards across from the seawall. Strong winds, heavy rain, and high tides brought flood water up several feet. Dodson says five of his buildings will need repairs. All the HVAC ductwork is done. Heat and air units are down in the basement. Hot water heaters, they're all gone. They run the water. So it's, you know, it's averaging about $40,000 per, per building. Nobody told me that it flooded down here. They Bobby Buxton lives across the street and shows us just how high floodwaters came up on his home. Because I can see on the inside where the, where the curtains got wet. The water came up so fast till that little wall probably couldn't hold it. I wish they had made it about 12 inches higher. It probably would help, you know. We contacted city engineer Richard Hartman, who declined an interview, but told us, quote, the seawall was a replacement for an existing structure and put at a height appropriate for the storms we get and the tidal surges. He went on to say, quote, you cannot design for guaranteed protection from a hurricane. Now we also asked about a storm water pump station for this area. We're told that it's been discussed at City Hall, but not funded. It's estimated to cost $2 million. We're live in Portsmouth, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.